Hello and welcome to Daily Medieval News. I'm Jack. And I'm Justin. Today we will be live at the scene with a Viking raiding a monastery. And an interview of an executioner. We hope you'll enjoy. I am Jack Wegner, and this is a PAL News broadcast. Today we are filming in some park in Europe. Oh my god, it looks like we stumbled upon a small scale pillage. These seafaring warriors have been raiding and colonizing wide areas of Europe for a long time. This pagan crew is attacking me. Ah yes, they were pagans of Danish, Norwegian, and Swedish descent. At home, they were villagers and farmers, but at sea, they were raiders. Come on. As you can see here, they raided the coast of Britain, Ireland, and they even went as far east as the Volga River. They even colonized this strange land called North America, which I have never heard of. Hey, wait, can you tell us something about your ships? Yes. We have two classes of ship, the NAR and the long ship. Well, from what we're seeing here, they weren't as civilized as other Europeans. Hey, wait, stop. Tell us, everyone at home, why did you become a Viking? There is too many people in Scandinavia, too many mouths to feed. Well, I guess I can't argue with that. You can go ahead and get back to what you're doing now. That is going to conclude our news segment. I hope you had enjoyed, because I sure have. Wait a minute. Hey, wait, stop! Don't actually... Oh my god! Let's get out of here! or raid the monastery. Now you will be seeing an executioner being interviewed. Hello, I'm Justin, and I'm standing here with an executioner. Would you like to tell me some of your favorite types of torture? Of course. My favorite types include the Judas Cradle, Crucifixion, Coffee Torture, Impalement, Heretic Forks, Rope Torture, Buried Alive, Neck Torture, Lead Sprinkler, and Iron Maiden. And why are these your favorite? These are some of my favorite because they're the most gruesome types. Can you tell me how they work? Of course. Well, let's start with the Iron Maiden. This contraction contains metal boxes with spikes in the door the victim will be placed into, almost immediately killing them. There is also a hair to forks. These will be placed under the victim's chin and stoner, making the victim unable to move his head. Then there is a lead sprinkler which just contains molded tar, boiled oil, and lead. And this would be sprinkled all over the victim's face and release molten silver in the victim's eyes, killing them. What happens if someone said that another person did something and you executed them, but you figured out they're lying? We would probably execute them for lying too. Do you have any specific types of torture for that type? No, it's mainly just whatever the king wants. Can you tell me more about the torture? Of course. There's also neck torture where we place necklace like a bar around their neck that has spikes and come right next to them, making it impossible for them to eat, drink, or move. Then there is a rope torture where you get a rope and you hide your hands and feet either strapped to a person like a horse, make them run around until you die. Or we tie you to a tree and let the animals get you. There's also Judas Cradle, and this is where a person would sit on a pyramid-like structure and be impaled until they die. And then there's also um, impalement, which is where a victim would have to sit on a thick rope that would be shoved up them until it went out their mouths. 
What do you do if they try to escape? Uh, we either have people help us or there's other methods we use. What other types of torture are there? Uh, the other ones we have are like being buried alive, in which you have to just throw the victim in there and just bury them. Sometimes we have to tie them and so they can't move. Also, there's crucifixion, which is where we nail them into a cross and hang them there until their death. And the last one is coffin torture. And this is where we, the victim is hanged in the coffin with holes in it until the birds eat them alive. Well, that's it for now. Now back to channel. And on that final note, we're going to be concluding this segment. We hope the rating of the monastery and the interview with the executioner entertained you. Have a good night and stay classy, Medieval Europe.